Hi. Yeah, I've been thinking about it, and I, I think I have an idea on how Putin can really destroy ISIS. Uh, instead of just bombing the hell out of them, what he could do is uh, leaflet the place and letting them know what certain Quran scriptures say and certain sayings from the Hadith, especially the Sahih Hadiths. You know, Sahih means authentic. And I was thinking that uh, in the leaflets, Putin could let them know about uh, how uh, in Quran 36, uh, 40 through 42, so 40 through 43, uh, it infers that the sun and moon travel in boats similar to their offspring Noah. You know? And Muslims say, oh, that doesn't mean uh, the sun and moon travel in boats. Oh, yes. Because in Al Tabari, it, actually, Muhammad changes it, not, not from boats, he changes it to a chariot. In Al Tabari, Muhammad says that the sun and moon travel in a chariot. It's a, it's a sea of water that uh, circles the earth. And it's held up by the power of Allah, so that not a drop uh, falls. And according to Muhammad in the Al Tabari Hadith, uh, uh, a solar eclipse occurs by the sun due to the sun falling out of its chariot into that sea of water. And that's why the Quran is saying that the sun and moon swim in an orbit. The stars they swim in it. they swim, but it's really they're only traveling in a chariot. Of course, in Quran 36. 40 through 42, they're actually uh, not really swimming, they're, they're, although it mentioned a little bit before about swimming, they're in boats similar to that of, of Noah. And that could be one, something on the, on those leaflets that uh, Russia would drop over ISIS. And another leaflet could, well, maybe on the same leaflet, uh, uh, Putin could let uh, the Muslims know uh, that uh, and the Quran teaches how the bones of a fetus form first, how sperm comes between the ribs and backbone, which is where your chest, your, your heart is. Um, that Muhammad uh, taught that uh, women also have discharge, and if they discharge first, their son will, their, their, uh, the, 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 the child will resemble the, the, the wife, you know, uh, take, yeah, or be a, a female. You know, if, she, if she discharges first, so it really, if you want to clone it yourself, you ejaculate first during sex, or if you want to, the child to look like your wife, you 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 do the for, the foreplay. So that could be put in the leaflet. Also, another part of the leaflet could be how uh, um, when uh, Muhammad said that he uh, took a journey by night on the the, the Al Barak, the thing that looks like a, that that was a kind of like a flying donkey thing with the head of a human and the tail of a peacock that he visited two structures in Jerusalem the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Temple of Solomon and both structures didn't exist in the time of Muhammad and you could also talk about um, in the leaflet how Aisha said that Muhammad never left the bed and in Bukhari Hadith Sahih it was a vision not something that actually happened so that could be there and explain why there's no hoof print on the uh, on the rock in the, in the dome of the rock, and I made a video about that. You you can't see any hoof print. I looked for a hoof print. I couldn't find anything. There's some holes there, but it doesn't look like a hoof print to me. But also, what Putin could drop over ISIS in leaflet form is how the Quran says it confirms the before scriptures, which is the Bible, and all Muslims believe the Bible is corrupted. You know, even even though. The Quran says uh, that you're not supposed to make any distinction between all his books, which would be the Bible and the Quran, and you're supposed and you're and the and the Quran says you're supposed to believe in all the books of Allah. So that would not only be just the not only the Quran but the the Bible as well. You're supposed to believe in all the books of Allah, or if you don't, if you do make a distinction between all his books, you'll be dragged off into hell, and yeah, you'll be you'll, you'll be far astray and dragged off into hellfire. I'd be Quran uh, for 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 70-72. Also, in the leaflet form, uh, the Muslims could find out about Abu Tire. Now, this is not Hadith, and this is not Quran, but Abu Tire was a Karmatian leader who, who invaded Mecca with some troops 
and they slaughtered like 20,000 Sunni Muslims and dumped some of their bodies, some of their bodies into the, the well of Zamzam. Then he destroyed the Kaaba and defiled it. Mocked Allah saying, oh, Allah, where are your birds, you know, send your birds, you know. And then he took the black stone and held it for ransom, using it as a urinal before returning it in pieces back to Mecca. And if they knew that, they'd think, oh my gosh, maybe, maybe Mecca is touchable, you know. And uh, that way, when they go to Mecca, they might think, Gad, you know, it's touchable. You know, so, but keep that in mind. What's what I'm going on further here? Another leaflet could be where, uh, um, uh, how um, Muhammad taught that embryos go through a blood clot stage, a 40-day blood clot stage. Mah Muslims try to say no, it means a clean leech or a, a clean substance or a, a clean leech-like substance. You know, if you and if you type into in, in, if you type in blood clot. And you put in Arabic into uh, Google Translate, it comes out a leech. I, I, you know, if you put clot, it, it, don't, it doesn't even say blood clot anymore. It's now now leech. It says leech. But it's only recently that Muslims that Al Alak meant meant leech. A long time ago, it meant a clot or a blood clot. And guess what? Still in Sahih Hadith. It means then it becomes a blood clot, not a leech. It becomes a blood clot. First, it says it becomes blood, and that's for 40 days. Then another 40 days, it says it becomes a blood clot. Then another 40 days, it becomes a morsel of flesh, and then an angel goes into the womb with special instructions from Allah that will let you know someday whether or not you're going to be in heaven or be in paradise or in hellfire. In other words, there's no free will. It's, it's all due to the writings of, of Allah. And if they realize that Muhammad believed that an embryo goes through a blood clot stage, blood clot is worthless blood, they might think, hmm, that doesn't make sense, you know? And then they might not be so on fire to kill people. And won't be also on fire to uh, put on, to uh, obey Quran 9, 111, 38 and 39, that threaten Muslims with a painful doom if they don't go forth killing and being killed in the cause of Allah. So that could be a part of the leaflets that fall down on ISIS and uh, anyway what I was thinking they leaflet the place they let them know about these things then they become so demoralized that when the bombs start coming down on them they think oh crap I, I don't want to die for this thing that that Muhammad believed you know that earth was spread out in the back of a giant fish and that's why Allah placed down mountains as pegs to keep down the earthquakes in the Quran um, it says that Allah placed down mountains. This doesn't say they're pushed up, but Allah placed them down to keep down the earthquakes, which you find out in Al Tabari hadith. Muhammad believed uh, the reason why there are earthquakes is because the earth is spread out on the back of a giant fish called Nun. I don't think many Muslims realize that. That could be in the hadith. That could be in those leaflets also. So, anyway, it's just a thought, you know? So.